Let's switch over to Ableton. Hopefully everything looks good. Everything looks good. That's good. Um, so hi everybody. Welcome to the two-hour track challenge. My name is Ben Remember underscore Bird. To save. Well, that's going to happen a lot, isn't it? Um, <laughs> you jerk. So I'd like to announce the new uh, the dashboard that I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. Oh, the ultimate troll. Um, so I have, yeah, so I have a dashboard that I've been working on, primarily just as a fun side project um, that allows people to donate bits for various things. Um, I will, I'm going to keep it on the 2R track challenge unless it gets really distracting, and then I will find a way to just use it on my normal streams that are just like chill out uh, and that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> hi everybody. I hope you all are doing well today. It's been a while um, since I worked on some music stuff, so you got to give me a minute to get back into the rhythm. But um, this tea, this high caffeine tea, is uh, is my is uh, what I'm hopefully hopefully going to get back into things. I also have a different stand, a different mic stand, so I'm hoping that it doesn't. It's a little awkward. It's a little longer than the other one I had, so I'm still getting used to that. So let me know if my volume's too high or too low. Really, all I want is something that's out of the way, <laughs> but uh, I don't think that's ever going to be possible. So the other thing that I wanted to do today is Ableton just released the Probability Pack, uh, which is a Max for Live uh, series of... Uh, packs and I think that this might be kind of fun but I don't want to like delve super deep into this because um I don't know how it works like at all <laughs> so um I might give it a shot but uh we'll see I mean that's really that's really how all that goes um so I guess it's about two o'clock um, current, let's see, theme, what is our theme going to be today? Um, glass and random chaos. All right, let's go. Um, so one thing I was thinking of is, um, creating ambiences using the the sound of breaking glass um, running through a granulizer um, and I thought about this and I don't know if it's going to work but I wanted to give it a couple uh, that's not the right one I wanted to give it a couple a uh, couple seconds of uh, checking it out yeah the sound of glass the sound of ass Actually, running that through a granulizer would work too. Um, isn't that what uh, Pizza did for one of her tracks? The sound of ass. There you go, Carbonic. You can add that to the. <laughs> you can add that to the, to the ever-growing list of stupid things that I've said on this stream. Um, yeah. So let's. Uh, the sound of ass. We'll see. I want to use one of these because they have a tonal quality to it. Can I not resize it that way? Okay. Um, I haven't used this granulizer in a really long time. Okay, it's visible. Uh, I haven't used this granulizer in a while, so... You're going to have to bear with me for just a moment while I... So he previewed that smash. Yeah. Um, there we go. That That's an, actually a really cool, like, echo just by itself.
I don't know. Um, filter position. Gotcha. Make a snare out of whatever I just did. Yeah, that might actually be like a cool layer for a snare. Just. Um, where are, where's the attack and stuff on this? Yeah, I wish I had used this more. Okay, so that's for zooming. A bit to the second location. <laughs> that's crazy, though. Um... you could change that hi kitty yeah thank you um get your butt off my stuff <clears throat> okay yeah i need to mess with this more i used to i used to understand like how all of this worked but now I clearly don't. Hey, Zelgrith, how you doing? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, these are at 44.1, I think. They might be a little higher. Um, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to record, I'm going to record some, you know, banana, I'm going to record some uh, samples and then maybe we can integrate them into the, I like the panning, the panning's really cool. Let's uh, try a different sample now. I want something that just like sounds like it's shattering forever, if that makes sense. Um, Yeah. Ah, that's not a Let's try the mono samples. I think they're a... Yeah, they're a little bit more they're a little bit more controlled. <laughs> Um, let's make the grains a bit longer. We could actually probably turn this into a pretty cool pad. Let's try that. Um, so I'm going to filter out the low end. I'm going to, um, you think a, a corpus would be the right, uh, the right call on this? Kind of turns it into a pad, doesn't it? Uh, 
Okay, I think I think I got it. So let's take this. I think we can build a lead out of this. So what we can do is we can um, start with I want I want like a simple like a sine wave or something, something really simple, but also have it layered with uh, something more complex for texture. So we can take this and put it into a simpler or a sampler. Yeah, Corpus is really good for that. Edenson. I probably said that wrong. Thank you so much for the follow. I owe you a little bit of piano while I think about how this works. Eden. So what we can do with this is now that it's layered, we get a, a pretty cool effect where we have something that's, you know, like a super pure tone, but we also have this kind of crackly gross sound on top of it. Um, and we can further make this a little bit more random sounding by adding some random start points to it. So now when we hit the button, it starts at a random random part in there. And again, I'm not really sure if this is uh, if this is going to go anywhere, but it's always fun to do sign, sound design stuff like this. Um, we could also detune it by uh, bringing this up to C4 so we can bring it down an octave. Come on, there we go. There's no way to uh, <laughs> there's no way to change the speed of playback, is there? I guess that's changing the the root. That's a cool sound. Okay, um, so what I'm gonna do. Is what happens when we take this resampling and we layer. Okay, um, I'm kind of going off the deep end right away with this one, but you know, that's okay. Let's try. Nah, I always mess up how this works. There we go. Um, So we can try this, and uh, we can set it to loop. Oh. Matsum Matsumuri Gaming, thank you so much for the host. And simpler, but not in sampler, really. for the host guys i appreciate that we are making a weird song already today and I'm, I'm looking forward to it i'm just trying to figure out how we can uh how we can put all this together Ooh, that's dark <laughs> how you guys doing today um yeah i like this sound Rating and hosting are basically the same thing. From my experience, I mean, really, it just depends on when and how you do it. I like cake, too. Um, thank you, Daddy Loves Cake. I owe you a little bit of piano. That is not a piano. 
trying to think of how I want to do this. I think we need to create a pad for that. Dramatic key change. So yeah, I think we can we can make a pretty cool pat pad out of this just by going. <laughs> um, because we get we get the tones, but we also get all of these little peaks and troughs and volume and all these weird noise. Um, so if we add like some reverb and stuff to it. Yeah, man, I listen, I'm not complaining. I love I love that people are, are coming to the stream and like participating in the whole music production thing. It is my favorite thing in the world. Um so yeah, let's um I mean I've spent the last fifteen minutes kinda dicking around. I gotta I gotta put something on the paper, as they say. So let's let's do something just This might be kind of a, a spoopy one. Excuse me. Yeah. And I don't intend to make everything out of broken glass for this, but it's always fun to see how far you can how far you can take it. Um, so actually, let's just go like this, and we can. Yeah, I mean, this might be the the monthly challenge as well. Uh, light, yes, I have. Um, thankfully, a lot of those problems have been resolved for me. My streaming setup is a little weird, um, where I'm actually pushing everything out into a mixer, and then that mixer is bringing the audio back into my computer for OBS to read. Um, it's a little bit of a circuitous route, but it allows me to kind of offload some of the processing and like the internal uh, hooking up of things. Yeah, I kind of do too. I've been meaning to make one for a while. I just haven't had the motivation to make a video lately. Ugh, too bright. <laughs> I'm not really sure where this is going. What should we do with this? There's so many options. I think... Um, I mean, we could get a base in here. That might help solidify things a little bit. It's it's all very nebulous right now, especially since a lot of this stuff is atonal. Ugh. Got to arp in that sine wave thing. Unsync it from tempo and speed as slow it does. Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Um, let's see if I can just go like this. Just cut and paste this over into the arps area. Um... Yeah, so we need like some kind of other pad that comes up. And I think the other pads, a lot of the other stuff that I'm going to put into this is going to be a lot more tonal um, because right now everything's everything's kind of a mess. It's hard to... have any idiopan samples? I do not, I don't think. Everything sounds so happy with this thing. Or we could just like 
go full uh, Stranger Things on this. <laughs> That'd actually be kind of fun. And then I just get sued. Remember to save. Thanks, poetic. Um, I don't have a I don't have a track name for this yet. We don't really have a track yet either. So, yeah, Stranger Things definitely does fit the spooky vibe. But I kind of want to make my own. Life is Stranger Things. <laughs> Thanks, Zelgrith. just so good. Let's see. Let's just get something down. I think that would be a little too mysterious. Oops. I messed it up. Um, Because the... the I think that would work. Um, yeah, I, I like it better when it's tempo synced. I think what we want to do is we want to make a spooky, scary song. What was the chord? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, it kind of does. Um, I'm going to increase the tempo, actually. Sados. I, I'm Lito AF. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. I'll get you a little piano while I think about this. See, that's kind of what we want. Maybe bringing some piano in like that might work. Yeah, it's it's really really messy right now. <laughs> this one? Where would it resolve to? Sound of metal. Oops. <laughs> That's the spirit fan. Okay, so I think part of the problem that I have with this is just kind of how everything is. It's just 
really, really kind of ambiguous. So, um... It's also a very weird time signature because this is... We might be able to play off that. Um, because, like, right now, some of this is in 4-4, some of it's in, like, this really odd, like, 7-8. Um, so let's see if we can, uh, we can techno spooky moves. Yeah, exactly. So let's see if we can, like... See if we can mess with that a little bit. Because it would be cool to... Ugh, come on. That is a weird feeling. Because it feels on, but it also feels off at the same time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I think we have I think we have more of a direction now. Like I don't want to make it super hardcore, you know, in your face like EDM. But I think adding a little bit of this will help a lot. Ugh, that's the wrong hat. Yeah, a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna go like that before I make more work for myself. A little bit, yeah. to be a little bit like ghostly so if we give it a chorus maybe like a touch of reverb on the higher end oh yeah auto pan would help too still haven't done any of the randomizer stuff though. I need to do that next. Sorry. I don't know how that randomizer stuff works. That's the other thing. So I'm going to have to I'm going to have to tinker with that real fast because time times uh times is spinning down, which is fine. Make these a little less. That's really cool. Okay, um, what kind of bass do we want for this? 
Like part of me wants to go with like a super electronic bass. Um, and granted, we already kind of have a bass here. Kind of unison monarch bass. And I haven't used monarch in a long time. Let's uh, let's load that up. I think that's reactor six. Where's my T? I got, I got the kind of sound that I want. But I just need to... It's just really loud. I mean, just doing this. to uh where's the release on this no no this the track is supposed to take two hours to make <laughs> if this was two hours long i would i would be here for a very long time um <laughs> <clears throat> In, in a perfect world, it would be done in under two hours. This one, just make an ambient song. Yeah, I've failed a couple times, and that's okay. The whole process, it's, it's about learning. It's about learning and doing new things and interesting things. I could Zelgrith. That was actually a lot of fun. I should do that one again. Yeah, this is, this is a cool sounding song so far. Where is the... Where's the release on this? I thought that there was a release valve number, a release valve. Um, noise. Nice, it flows together it's such. Yeah, like there's definitely like projects that I want to do that are just super long ambient songs that flow from one idea. Release the bass. Yeah, I thought that there was like a, a release in here, but there's just a tech decay, and I don't want that. It cuts out very, very quickly. Um, I mean, I can add like, it's like a reverb to it, and that should kind of do the same thing, but not really. Just have to make sure I don't capture a lot of the bass sounds, or else it'll just turn into mud. Yeah, it does. Um, this was just me kind of messing around. Um, yeah. So I'm thinking we can take this, rewind it back. Or sure, got the whatever, whatever to make your booty go slap. Um <clears throat> I'm thinking with this, we could um, get, uh, uh, what would be a good sound for this? I think maybe like a choir. This is gonna be a weird song. I always, I like Aquat Purgatory, but it's really, really, it's a little too atonal for this.
about that. <laughs> Now this needs like a like. Now you you were talking about metal earlier. I think toxic, and now it's just like yeah, this just needs to be a metal song. I don't know if this is going anywhere. I have like part of me is just like this is super cool, and the other part of me is just like what are you doing? How are you gonna make a song out of this? I don't have Camel Crusher. Uh, I, I used to, but I think Camel Crusher was a 32-bit, a 32-bit plugin. So Ableton 10 doesn't allow 32-bit going nowhere slowly. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, M would be pleased. Um, let's get let's get a stronger kick. Um, let's just go to a janky vengeance pack. See if we can find something. Nope. Hope another whistle happens. Yeah. Okay, I guess we're just gonna make some fucking hard house. Well, no, not hard house, but we're just gonna make something a little bit more aggressive. Just a second. <clears throat> okay. Hey, Job, how you doing? I'm knocking everything off my desk. That's what I'm doing. All right. I ain't mad. I just gotta get shit done. Unleash your anger. Thank you. <laughs> you done screwed it up. Remember to save. You guys are the best. Yeah, random random save quotes is definitely <laughs> is definitely one thing that I want to do. What's up? Oh, you just charging stuff? Oh, um, that cable is that one's the right one. Okay. No, it's not. I don't think so. It's right here. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting your thing. I'm interrupting your jam. Oh my God, this is such a long cable. No, I need. I just need to clean my desk. It would be a lot easier then. Sure, Carbonic. I'll, I'll give it a try. And I'm gonna steal. Oh, go for it. You got it. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I guess we're just going to kind of go into just aggressive, <laughs> aggressive stuff. Actually, that's pretty good. Because it, it has that, uh, it has that pre-delay already baked in. 
Uh, that actually sounds like crap. Wood? Yeah. Oh, honestly, one of the wood sounds might work really well. Let me, uh, let me go over to that. There's the, uh, there's this one that might actually work super well. Yeah, 808 probably would work too. I just wanted to try this first. Um, yeah, man. It's already been 40 minutes and I've got like nothing. Um, it's in the Discord, huh? Zombie wave. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah, I can I can find a use for those. Um I think you're right that an 808 is probably the way to go with these just because they punch through everything so easily. Um <laughs> Yeah, well, zombies in general kind of do, so Don't feel too bad. That just punches through. Oh, it punches through because I got a fucking giant saturator on it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I don't normally do this, but I am going to do some layering on this. Because it needs it needs some high end that this does not have. So I am going to actually go back to the field recordings and find something. And this should give it, uh, it should give it a little bit better layering. This part's a bit loud, but we can fix that easy. This is so dumb. I like it.
Yeah, yeah. And honestly, like me saying this is dumb is I'm not I'm not like saying that in a bad way. I'm just saying this song is really stupid. Um <clears throat> You're going to hate me for this, Carbonic. But too bad. You gave me you gave me the you gave me the sounds. Your fate is is sealed. So let's not do triplets for this. Let's leave the triplets just for the um just for the hats. Or maybe right here. I gotta turn up the volume on these though. <laughs> This is great. Um, oh, well, it didn't. There we go. Um, I'm glad you're here, Carbonic. It, it, it makes my life easier to shift the blame of stupid music to somebody else. It's like, oh, well, this was Carbonic's fault. He was giving me weird ass samples and I just got I just got really distracted by him. And, you know, it's not my fault the song's a complete nightmare of a mess. <laughs> 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 I'm glad that turned out well. I'm gonna keep those keep those around right here just in case I need more. Um So the other thing I can do is I can like go super hard on the auto pan or for for the um for the bass. I can like just have it play on the off beats. Oh, this has to be like ninety. bit of uh what does a 909 sound like i can't remember now <clears throat> let's see drum machines 909 clap yeah let's see we've got oh yeah just give it a little bit more juice in the mids Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do we want to call this monstrosity? I mean, monstrous is uh, is one of the two-hour album challenge themes, and this would definitely fit. <laughs> 
that theme. Oh my god, I keep... Oh my god! <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong buttons. There we go. Monstrosity. I was thinking, like, zombie step or something, but yeah, like... Zombietron. Fear. <laughs> oh shit, that's a good idea. Too toxic. Uh, techno zombie. Um, cheese step. Yeah. Song name we had at the start. I can't remember. <clears throat> um... Job. Oh my god, how am I gonna do anything with this song? Okay, so we've got kind of like an intro. So let's let's break this out a little bit. Um we'll give it like somebody Let's give him a message. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <clears throat> so I'm trying to figure out the best way to kind of build this up. Why did it say... Oh, okay, there is one there. <laughs> a scary breakdown, yeah. Um... Yeah, so I need to figure out how I want to, like, bring all this together. Kind of like this. And really, we don't need to... I mean, we could go with the traditional... Um... Like, like, the traditional EDM stuff and just kind of have it real basic. Okay, um, let's let's work on this as a four bar loop now. Um, we need to create some kind of like open hat. I'm trying to see the zombie line just gone through my head. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, that's the wrong open. I need to go to the eight oh eights. Where are you? <laughs> uh, classic release go like this okay I'll just make this a little quieter and we should be good there kind of funny this is a community thing though I don't want to just be just to be about me
laser. Thank you so much for that donation. Let's get that cat laser going. Is that at 1500? Oh, it's at 500. Okay. That's kind of what I wanted. I'm still, I'm still messing with the um, zombie pulse. That's kind of a cool name. Um, I'm still messing with like the, the totals for that. So hopefully we can, uh, we can, we'll, we'll work on that as it goes. Um, I'll go like this. So I feel like this is is losing a bit of the aggression that it had before. It's a little plunky now, it's zombie core. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, like zombie step or something. Stacey, how you doing? I'm going to do magic on it for the video. Um, I don't know. I, I don't have... Oh, Spacey Blur. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Uh, let me get you a little bit of while I kind of regroup here. How you doing, man? Hey, there it is, Job. How you doing, man? so much for that follow i'm still trying to figure this stuff out this is going to be a like a kind of a short song i think what chord comes next tetradeca that's an interesting name for that follow job. Yeah. I knew Deca meant 10. I, but for some reason, I spaced on the four. <clears throat> this could use a little bit of uh, auto filter to give it some motion on the high end. To, uh, I need to add that uh, that hi hat thing to the rest of this. Ah, crud. Um, yeah. yeah. There's nothing wrong with doing some weird songs sometimes. I guess I got to remind myself that because uh, this one's just kind of off the wall. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Pitch shifting those growls sounds really funny. I need a name for this. Zombie particle. Because <laughs> there's no wave. <laughs> That's funny. I can never do those slides. Google Jive. That just sounds gross. <laughs> and chaos zombie techno something something zombie yeah there's a lot of I sense a very strong zombie theme here Yeah, no worries, Iron. Yeah, I um intestinal judgment, Jesus. Um Zombie trance, gurgle jive, zombie techno. God, I don't know. Remember to say Yeah, okay, okay. Let's let's get a let's get a theme. Okay, theme zombies title. How, let's call it here. How about that? Does that sound good? That's like zombie theme, but still like take care toxic. Thanks for hanging out. Zombomb pop. <laughs> Zombomb apocalypse. Patient zero is the first person to contract a disease. Um, really carbonic. You think so, huh? <laughs> uh, Zelgrith, I named this song Patient Zero Suck It Carbonic. Okay, so what chord am I going for here? I have... There it is. Okay, so I was off by a little bit. Join. Um, I actually kind of like the idea of having a white noise build up over here. 
Or how about... Let's t turn off the corpus. Nah. That doesn't really work. Um, but I can I can grab just like a white noise. Build up. I apologize in advance if some of these are fairly loud. Um, oh, that's like... Let's try white noise. Sounds like a vacuum cleaner. sound like a cheesy movie signing sound a lot interesting practical yeah i think i have that book i might have it on my wish list though i can't remember okay um Yeah, I'll have to check that out. I might not have that one. I do have a lot of like those kind of books. And unfortunately, I don't always get a chance to go through all of them. It's like one of those things, oh, I'll get to it eventually. Of course, I never do. Vacuum cleaner sample pack when? It's like, now I want to go get, like, a cheesy horror scream. Like, go to YouTube and just get, like, okay. <clears throat> I apologize if this is loud. Uh, that one sucks. Why do you gotta add reverb to it? Whatever. Wilhelm scream. <laughs> I'll grab that one too. <laughs> Lady scream. I think I just exported the whole thing, but whatever. Um... The Wilhelm Scream compilation. No, I only need one. I'm going to get copyright strike for that. The Wilhelm moan. I don't know if I want to hear that one. Um... <clears throat> Yep, I exported the whole thing. Like a dumb. And this one was this one was bad. That one actually might work well for like an intro thing. Uh, but this one is the one that I wanted. I'll just toss that on there so I forget about it, and then we just randomly get it. Okay, so we'll put this down here. Uh, we're going to filter out the lows. Unfortunately, it kind of comes front-loaded with a little bit of reverb and stuff, so I'm going to have to compensate with some of my own. 
Ooh, that might be fun. Ooh, that's loud and piercing. Um, let's just put that more in the background. some of this stuff up so I can work. Okay, and then this one is going to be much more in the background. It's mostly just for, for ambiance such as that is. I also have an idea for another kind of ARP that might work well. I think using wavetable. I'm at 50 minutes though, and I have like an intro, so I've got to like get my ass in gear here. I think that um, once we get things moving though, it'll go pretty quickly. Um... Yeah, this is. That's more what I wanted. Does this allow randomness? I can't remember if this allows randomness. Oh, we have to set an oscillator to random. Or an LFO to random. So go like this. And then we can set the position LFO2. So now. Okay. Let's go like this. I have done a little bit of that stuff. Whoa. All right. Thank you so much, Poetic Android. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to have to find a way to get my alerts so they're not like doubling or tripling up. Okay. So that sounds gross right now and dumb, but give it a second. So I'm going to auto filter right here. And again, randomize this. Don't worry about it, man. Kind of like how dumb this is. <laughs> Let me just put it somewhere so it's a little bit less intrusive. never not going to make me laugh. <laughs> oh, man. Um, That 
actually helps it bump pretty well. Um, the soundtrack to your indie horror film that that would be pretty funny glass viper style virtual analog oh cool yeah I uh I like the sound of that um, you might have to remind me but I'll definitely try to check that out um, you did remind me, though, that I have something. Oh, where is it? Uh, here it is. The Haunted Toy. The Haunted Toy. So what I want to do is I think we'll have a little breakdown here. Like we're kind of running out of time. So uh, what I'll do, this was from the KVR audio, uh, the free packs from 2018. This was linked in the discord probably a month or two ago. I could make a song. The thing is, like, this song in, in, in particular is uh, very um, uh, Mellotron strings. I don't know if I have that. Let me check. I was thinking about, like, doubling this up. So it would be, like, kind of a spooky... so dumb. Okay, so obviously this is a little loud, but... Okay, I think I, think I like this. But what I have to do, what I have to do, it is my right as a musician, my right. Actually, no, I'm in the wrong thing. Um, my responsibility, that is a very long delay or a decay. go like this so we'll copy this up and then this goes to C2 there we go so we can go like this so and then we can go like Ninety percent of the way there. It's a little jank, but that's okay. <clears throat> More. Mm -hmm. 
get some dissonance in there. Got to copy and paste this like this. Oops, I was off by one. Got to learn your scales. Cool. Um, I also want to do FL's piano roll is way better. <clears throat> I personally, FL's piano roll is one of the best I've ever used. Um, <clears throat> it has a lot of options that I wish Ableton had, especially the, with the MIDI controls relating to uh, individual pitch bends. That's something that I sorely miss. That's one of the main things that I missed uh, moving from uh, FL to Ableton was the the ability to do individualized pitch bends on the same uh, thing. Um, I really, really miss doing that. <laughs> Thriller too. That would have been a good name for this as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. have a long one here. Having things line up on the offbeat is is cool, but not uh, not what I'm looking for here. Um, this song's kind of gone off the rails, hasn't it? <laughs> um, I was thinking about adding some like really low strings. Okay, yeah, we got to get my notes right though. way off. Um, mouse clicking musician. I mean, I used, I used the mouse to input almost all of my notes for about 20 years. Well, not 20, maybe 10. Um, I mean, that was just the way that I did things. I didn't even have a piano for a very long time. Um, so this is more of like a second repeat kind of thing. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's something that, it's something that happens. sucks. I was like, oh, well, let's just do that trip hop thing or that lo-fi hip hop thing where we skip a beat, but not when it comes to this type of music. Um... I, c 
kind of want to do some like crazy hat thing. Tracker keyboard. I'll have to check that out later. Um, I also need a ride symbol on this <clears throat> because that's what I'll do. Drum kit. Where's my rides? Okay, I will check it out after this. You also know what you also know what I need? I need a brains. Brains. Take care, Zelgroth. Drive safe. Ugh, that is messy as hell. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do the cheapest lead we can, and I have a pretty good idea of what I want to do. Um... Uh, by cheap, I don't mean like, I don't know what I mean by cheap. <laughs> um, <clears throat> That's actually pretty much exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> different times is pretty cool too. That's actually a really cool effect that I'm going to have to remember. It's only like a few percent off. Okay. Um, we just got to get the timing of these down. And really, I kind of feel like these are more of a background thing than a foreground thing. So this lead is going to be more of a background lead, which isn't really a thing. Um, to just be like right on the the thing but I think I'm overthinking some of this stuff <laughs> I saw my stuff here because it's all over the place and it's 
not letting me. Whatever. trying to make this uh this drum loop a little bit more interesting as well i know it's kind of more of a background thing but something has to be in the foreground because right now everything's kind of just mooshed together <laughs> So we can do the same trick again over here where we can just kind of cut all of this stuff out. Um, I do want to do just... Brains. <laughs> have, a, have a little bit of a... Brains. <laughs> Oh, good time. There we go. Hey, we never, we never, we never said that. Hey, Tux, stop knocking all my shit over. Get down. Cats, man. Okay, so what happens if we just have this looping back into this? Well, we'd have to... So the thing is, like, I could make this song longer. Like, I could extend all of these sections out, and I might. But it's like right now I feel like I just want to get the, the, the bone structure of this song done uh, before I kind of go nuts on the rest of it. I'm going to try this again. Where it ends now and you're done? You mean like right here? Oh, that cat's gonna drive me nuts. Oh, after the repeated course. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about doing doing this and then maybe I mean I could just like bring this back as like an outro kind of thing.
And I could also. There, how about that? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> we'll uh we'll have this in here um and we'll kind of fade this down at the end. I'm also thinking that what we can do is we can mess with this amp a little bit. Uh where's my where's my dongle? There it is. can also go like this. You know what? <laughs> Remember to save. There we go. Everybody gets one. Um, <clears throat> takes up so much space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Um, okay, well, just, uh, but with the burping zombie beast beat underneath, yeah. Yeah, it does need to be a little later. I was kind of improving it there. Um, <clears throat> just put it, like, right here. This one has some low end. I need to kind of cut that out. Not too much. There we go. It had some like mic noise in it. I like how this song kind of starts serious, but then it just gets really stupid. <laughs> all your full carbonic and I'm okay with that okay and we got some time left so we can work on arrangement good This song actually came together pretty well, if if I'm gonna be honest. Like I had some I had some worries about this one. <laughs> Especially like a half hour in. We can only have one well done screen go, this has to be left.
Okay, so we do have uh, some space here. Okay, um, we can work on like building this arrangement out a little bit more now, because like, I don't, I don't personally care that it's short, but you know, we can always add more fun things in here with twenty minutes left. If this cat lets me, mmm, cold tea. But I don't know what to add. <laughs> Let's actually mess with this chord a little bit to make it feel like a natural woman. No, um, Great. like, uh, <clears throat> Great. um, it would be uh, five suspend chord, so it raises the tempo tension a little bit more. That's worth something, yep. See, that's the thing. It's like everything everything kind of fits together like a puzzle right now, and I don't want to mess with it too much. Kitty, you either got to lie down or leave, okay? I can bring this back for this part. And my worry is that if I, like, extend some of this stuff out, it'll just get boring. And I don't want it to be boring. I'd rather have it, like... Tight and concise. Let me just look at this as a whole here. Okay, well, I don't need that. I don't need that. Lie down. Jeez. <laughs> Exactly. That's kind of my worry. I don't want to. I don't want to overdo something. Tux, you gotta lie down, or you gotta leave. more echoes to that. Um, just for this little part, though. Okay, well, in lieu of um, like trying to extend the the length of the song, let's work on just adding some subtle layers. 
Nah, no. And I think, I think I've done enough jokes in this song. Um, let's work on like extending the layers and like making the song sound a little bit uh, more cohesive in general. And I think that that's still a valuable endeavor. Um, mastering because if i have if i have this going like you won't be able to hear me at all so i uh i just need to turn that off for the moment i'll, I'll probably remember needs anything I, I feel like the the organ could pop out a little bit more and the intro could probably use some more layering too Yeah, okay, so let's let's do the intro stuff a little bit. How about that? Uh we got thirteen minutes left. So we can we can actually just do some like basic string stuff. It's like something like that. but we'll get there. Um, too much. more reverb it needs more presence but uh use isotopos on my master yeah i've been i've been meaning to like get some proper mastering stuff like this this is definitely not anything special but um it, it does the job for me um
have as much of a lead in that I want. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, in, in, in the broader sense of the word, uh, mastering is only like a couple EQs, a limiter, and maybe some compression, depending on how you mixed your tracks. So like, there's definitely, there's definitely a case to be made that you don't need to do a whole lot. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I agree with you there. that's too many layers that's too many layers it's making things it's making things screwed up um really all i just want to do is have this thing fade away dear hall thank you so much for the follow i owe you a little bit of piano that'll be a good mental break for me let's get you some piano thank you for the follow dear hall dear hall there we go words appreciate it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Iron. And it, it really just comes down to whoever is working on it, like their, their, uh, their process. Because everybody's different. Like my process is generally just trying to mix while I produce, which is, is not recommended by a lot of people, I guess, but it works well for me um, because then all I have to do is work on the master at the end. Um, but sometimes it, it, it paints me into a corner where all of a sudden I have like all of these problems with the song and I don't know why they're there or how to fix them. <laughs> so there's it's definitely not uh, like a silver bullet. these kicks off at the end. There we go. Okay, make sure all of this is properly... Yep, that's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and like there's definitely a case to be made about just having something, a tool that's available that allows you to do that stuff. I mean, some people, some people gripe about like the automation of the whole thing, but I feel that it's still really valuable to have a tool like that in your arsenal just to be able to have kind of a, an oh shit button that allows you to 
go and and not necessarily fix things, but kind of veer them back onto the right course. Okay, let's listen to this whole thing through. I keep stopping and starting, but it's two and a half minutes long, which is a bit on the shorter side, but you know, this is a weird ass song. Yeah, yeah, wave sounds really cool too. I've been meaning to look into that just from a sample perspective as well. so much i'm glad that you are you were able to show up and hang out it was a lot of fun to to have you around these are a little loud are these even velocity sensitive Barely. okay so i'm going to just put a utility on these then uh, because they are extremely loud once we get into this section um yeah yeah so i do the two hour track challenge every I do the two-hour track challenge every Wednesday, uh, schedule permitting. Um, and yeah, we do something different every week. So uh, this week was kind of spoopy stuff. Uh, next week might be something completely different. We'll see. Yeah, I lock. I um, I will never purchase anything with a physical that requires a physical I lock. Um, the Software is okay, but the physical one I will not deal with at all. button there. I apologize. Tux, you gotta stop fucking around, okay? I love you so much, kitty. Especially the fact that not only you have that dongle that's like easy to misplace, but if you break it or if it like it's like fifty dollars to replace it. It's like USB dongles do not cost fifty dollars, nor does it cost that much to flash something with like a simple ID key on it. Uh, this song's basically done. Um, I'm gonna play through it again, but we're gonna. I'm gonna let the timer run out because I like hearing my amazing alarm. <laughs> Kind of bonkers. So thank you, Carbonic.
pause just for a second so we can hear alarm. 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 Okay, let's go back to the song. <laughs> this extend out another measure so I can fade it out. <laughs> oh, this song is great. All right. That is it for today, guys. Let's find somebody to raid. Let's see if there's anybody online. No channels live. <clears throat> um, yeah, iLock is fine, but it's like they're. Let's see if we can find. I like I like raiding smaller guys. Um, uh, is there somebody? Hey, look at that guy making able. No, that's me. No. Um, <laughs> weekly Wednesday music webcast. Is he making music? Yeah, yeah, I like I agree that that stuff shouldn't exist. Music production, Logic Pro, Pro. Here we go. Here's somebody. Nice. I like that first one. Cool. Let's uh let's raid this dude and um yeah, so I'm going to going to give my spiel real quick. Um my name is Ben and I hope you enjoyed this stream. Um <clears throat> If you wanted to find more of me online, you can go to Twitch, Twitter, Patreon, and YouTube at Ben underscore Burns. That's B-U-R-N-E-S. Um, the Patreon will allow you download of not only this song, but all of the 151 other songs from the two-hour track challenge, as well as an exclusive album. Uh, yes, please go over to the Discord and hang out. If you're having fun here, there is also a ton of people over in the Discord. The uh, two-hour album challenge is starting next month, with month, which is basically this stream times like 30. Um, with a bunch of other people. So I am going to ship you guys over to Shaping the Silence, and I hope you all have a good rest of the day. I'm going to do my outro just because my outro is fun, and I get to sing, and um, then I'm going to send you guys over there. But yes, yes, punch, lightly caress the follow button. Caress it like a lover. <laughs> all right, guys. Take care. Let's see who donated this time. Let's let's do an outro with uh, with some donate shout outs. All right, here we go. Toxic. <laughs> you donated in carbonic. Same with poetic. You guys all have the same last syllable. And it's easy to rhyme. <laughs> 